the Senator Hotel, Marysville. We got an invitation to check it out inside, upstairs. Get the whole scoop. Let's go. Here with Mel, who's going to show us this awesome historic building in the historic district of Marysville. It's the Senator Hotel. So, it's called the Senator Hotel, but it has a much better history than that. So I will tell you why it's called the Senator in a bit. But first off, let's back up. I'm going to try to show you more. So let's get a good view. These green columns in front. I discovered the old owner I got it from didn't realize they're actually solid iron. Wow, like cast iron? Yeah, they rarely make buildings like that at, at all, period. And behind these brick archways, that's faux brick right there, it's just a facade. There's iron archways and an iron beam going all the way across. Interesting. So this building was built originally as a gold assay office. So that's one reason it was built so solidly because they wanted to make certain it was firm, prevent robberies. It had a, a, a basement area with a safe in it and all that kind of stuff. But if you look around, no other buildings have iron columns in front. No. So this is actually the second strongest building built in all of Marysville. The first is up the street. It's the old water tower building and was built so firmly because it was too I've older. seen that. Yeah. That is pretty interesting building. How the third floor was water. Right. Yeah. Crazy. That's built very firmly because it held a lot of water. This is built firmly because it held a lot of gold. But anyway, I see. So this building is going on 200 years old, 160, something like that. And it's been through a lot of changes. I'll try and remember what it was and what it's been through to tell you. But originally, it, these windows were floor to ceiling windows. And one or two of them, I can't remember actually had a doorway and there was a balcony that came out like so a, it actually had like a, a walk yeah. yeah so you could sit outside and that was nice for the hotel too so i heard this little tiny building uh was an annex to the other hotel that was a brothel that's pretty much correct so this one here was not a brothel but that one was well, and this was some kind of little walkway where you'd go back and forth or that's something. That's kind of correct, yes. And yeah. I can show you that on the inside. Interesting. This didn't become a hotel until about the 50s. Yeah, 1950s, something like that. And it was called the Senator Hotel because all the senators would come up from Sacramento. Interesting. And they would stay here to visit the brothel. masonry sculpture work scroll work up there that we're just starting to refinish we're gonna paint them and light them but they're beautiful and they've been there the whole time and people didn't even know it Wow When I got this building, it was filled up with offices. This was used as an office space for check writing for doctors and stuff like that. So everything that you see here basically look like these walls here. Bunch of offices with this kind of finish. And I knew it had beautiful brickwork behind it, so I ripped all the offices down. Wow. In the process of ripping all the offices down, that's how I discovered so many cool things like the arches in the back. You didn't even know they were there because it was covered up by drywall and two by fours. Interesting, I yeah. Know. This is way better natural look, I think. This, this, oh, way better, stucco. are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> I also discovered this over here. I fed into this because I, I wondered why did it sound the way it did. This is another solid iron beam that oh, runs yeah. all the way across. And it's based on, here's concrete here. 
So iron beam supporting the middle of the building. So this building again is built solid as a rock. Super sturdy. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go through here some more. I'll tell you something very, very interesting. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. One night I was in here, standing right about here, and I got this chill. And then I turned this direction and I saw a shadow of a figure that looked like it was walking into a room and out of a room, and that's it. And the next day, I came down and was talking to a contractor. This was before all this stuff was gone. He was helping me um, tear down the place. I started to tell him the story and then he said, oh, you saw the ghost too. And then I found out that four contractors had seen the ghost and one of them had uh, even a little run in with the ghost throwing pieces of brick at him. You know, I will say it's very cold in here. Yeah, well, like, not that I'm cold right now, but it's just like a cold, Cold feeling. Is, uh, have you been here for long, like in the summer? I have. Is it nice and cool yeah, in the brick, summer? Brick helps insulate it, but. Interesting. So anyway, the um, uh, <clears throat> there's a local kind of, not a, a medium, but interesting character named um, Larry Bird. Okay. And he does water dousing with sticks, but he also says he can find other things like spirits and things like that. So I had him come in here. <clears throat> I didn't tell him the stories, didn't tell him any detail, didn't even tell him that I had seen a ghost. I just said, hey, this is an old building, check it out. And he went with the water dowsing thing and he went to a certain point right over here and just said, yeah, right over here. And he's going like this with his water dowser and he goes, oh, there's a wall here. And he walks around and goes, oh, there's a wall here. And walks around, there's a wall here. He maps out exactly where all of us saw this ghost in a room. And then he says, there's a spirit or something right in the center here. How did he know that? Huh. How did he know it was a room? How did he know so it was a room? So right under front? this uh, overhang? Right here, yeah. yeah. Huh. Creepy. So, <laughs> now I'll tell you this. He went a different direction on what he thinks it was. I'm gonna tell you what I think it was. Because this used to be the Senator Hotel at the time that a um, person of notoriety was in town and he would bring migrants up from Mexico and put them in cheap hotels here to be migrant workers. And then later on, this person... So, sort of human trafficking situation. Well, this person was known as Juan Corona. It was actually Oh, we know Juan, yeah. Juan Corona, yes. California's first serial killer. That's coming up in my no serial killers of Northern California video. Well, <laughs> and Juan Corona's brother owned the place right next door. Yeah, I heard he had some connection, and so did, uh, was it Murrieta, also yeah. serial killer? Had a, a, I don't some know. Kind of but yeah. the interesting thing is, I think it's probably one of Ron Corona's, you know, scary little <laughs> not suspects. But, I know. mean, look at the size of those beams. Those look original, huh? Oh, those are original, yeah. Wow. But anyway, so that's cool. what I think the ghost is, but, you know, there's theories. Huh. Things. So, so you're, sure, you're sure that, like, it wasn't a piece of uh, brick that fell on you? You feel like it was thrown on you? <laughs> <laughs> So this is interesting because because you're like history. Yeah, yeah. There used to not be any buildings next door. And this building was here and there was open space next door. So these are the windows. And then windows used to be built much lower because one of the main purposes for windows was to help cool the place. Right. So you get cooler air from Yeah, so down. there was one, two, three, four right yeah, here. And you could see where the original second story was. And they changed that over the years. This has been many things over the years. The gold assay office, it's been uh, a Mexican nightclub, it's been a hotel, it's been a hardware store, it's been all kinds of things over the years. Wow. So anyway, we discovered these archways and, and then kind of refinished them because they were in bad shape, they were buried in the for a long time. 
A Mexican nightclub. Huh? There's a Mexican like nightclub called. Interesting. Home. It was actually the commercial front of the building. It looks like oh. the back of the building, oh, but really? this is actually the commercial front. Whoa. And I say commercial front because you have to remember it was a gold assay office. And when this was built, you could literally walk right out here. There'd be one road called Front Street, and then there was the river, right. which, fronted, which fronted the street. And the last dock, literally the last dock all the way from Sacramento to go on this river was almost right behind this building. Right. You're saying something about they would shuffle the gold back and forth. They would the... have, the boat would be docked there, and I'll show you upstairs where they would tether lines in and bring the money in and out and the gold in and out. Wow. So the second story, because of course they didn't want it walking on the street, but that was literally, you could walk out here and walk a little ways across Front Street and that would be the river wow. right there. Now it's much further now because there's a levee in the way and all that stuff. Right. But this was the commercial front of the building. And they used to have, um, you know, like you see in old Western movies, uh, uh, like a, you know, area to tie up your, horses and stuff like that. So this was like the original front space. This was, the, this was not here. This was all put in, we think in the 40s or 50s. Interesting. Uh, but this was the front of the building right here. You can't, can't even see it right it's now. It's got some old right hardware here. from a, I took out uh, almost all the electrical a shutter, stuff. like those old cast iron doors. Yeah, like it had the, the cast hardware. iron doors. Still there. But that's something that's really interesting. That is interesting. Isn't it? And yeah. so you can see this. There's another one. Yeah, uh, that's nice and thick walls. Look at that. It must be like, what, a foot? No, they're over a More foot, like that. 18 inches. Very cool. Hey, no. I'll take it. You, there's not much interest here. This was all put in later. Like I said. We so it was medical it office, you said? This was medical office is in its last use, yeah. Mm. This, this part alone had three offices in it. So let's get this straight right now. You're going to make a wine bar here for people to come enjoy history and wine and cheese and crackers and that type of thing. Eventually. My, my plan is to put the, the bar itself right here, you know, with the countertops here, and it goes around that way. That's where the bar is going to be, and of course the liquor is going to be back there, and coffee nice. back there. Over there is going to be a stage. Whoa. And then along here, so this, this is going to be a lounge area with couches and that type of furniture. And then tables and other seating along here. Very cool. I want to definitely come back when that happens. You and, have to. And, <laughs> and I want to <laughs> show everyone I, I, that. I want to put a, people are talking to me against this, but I want to put a table with a Ouija board built into it right now. A Ouija that board happens. right in the, the right weird, the ghost in the weird right spot where the ghost was yeah. found with the water dowsing sticks. We now Interesting. Come, come along this way, because you talked about the pass-through to the other building next door. Right, right. Do you know Joe Yabar? Yes. Okay, you know the building next door. Well, I know I do. I know okay. Yeah. So you can see where that was. Oh, whoa. So this was the pass-through to go to the building. Because that is crazy. Because this was the Senator Hotel. Right. Ho Senators would stay here, go through here to the brothel at the Davis Hotel. Yeah. Next door, basically. Very cool. That was the... And that's where all the, the <laughs> girls were. The original changes here. You can see there's two types of bricks here. This is part of the iron beam that runs across oh, here. Yeah. You can see how the brick is broken oh, up. There's an old arch there. Right. Because it was kind of two buildings before. Not really. It was one solid building, but they had it separated. And again, the the stories were broken down different than they are now because at one time i think this was right there's so many layers of yeah, at different one time, i think it was three or four stories but not nearly as high of ceilings they were like only seven or eight foot so ceilings. did you add this chandelier is this from the doctors that's from the doctor yeah. <laughs> but it has kind of a ghost feel to it's it, kind so. of fun right yeah yeah all right let's that's check out there <laughs> Whoa, look at these stairs now. These stairs have been here. great, aren't they? I'm going to, of course, fix it all up. This part upstairs I'm turning into a custom video studio. Interesting. So all of this will be insulated for sound in a much different way. But I'll have artwork on the wall.
All right, here we go, upstairs, wow. So right now this is a basic open floor plan and it's going to end up being a specialized commercial video studio. Now, oh, sweet, this is even four dials in the now. So I'm gonna walk you through some of this. Wow. This is another example of how things used to be different. This wood going across there was actually the um, part of the original um, support for the roof, the original roof, which went up higher later. Wow. So they had beams growing across at that level. And then, This is a huge room. Oh, isn't it? Now if you come over here, if you remember me saying downstairs, the original windows were floor to ceiling. Those, I'm going to replace these and put those back in. I think that would be epic. And it's gonna let in so much light. <laughs> the doorway to a balcony. So it actually used to have a balcony. Yeah, they, that was common in the day. Yeah. You know, these, Is this your uh, flag holder here? <laughs> so you can be festive? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> those have been around a while. You Very cool. We're setting it up for video because that's what it's going to end up being. Cool. But we discover underneath this floor right here, there's a solid iron beam going all the way across, resting on two more solid iron columns. Wow. And again, the old owner didn't know that. So we discovered that. And, you know, so we, was there a fireplace in here? There was a, um, there was multiple stoves. Like wood it, stoves? That's how they heated the place. So I noticed there's a vent there. Yeah, well, there's a number of them. I say multiple because there's... Well, it was a big building. It was a big building. They had to heat it out in different ways. Wow. But you can see those holes in the wall going across? That, again, was holding the original roof. Right. So you can see it's changed heights over the years. Yeah, it's got all kinds of different... Yeah. I mean, just this wall alone, you can see... Five, six There's different layers. There's another for one of the stoves. Wow. Now this is the interesting part that I was telling you about. First off, when I got this place, all these walls were here that I had to rip out. Oh yeah. This, where the lines are, were walls. Okay. Weird. And there was a wall going here, and these were covered up. The like, windows? Like the arches downstairs. Why would you cover that up? Wow. No, it's crazy. They were covered up I heard this building was remodeled in 1980, so that would explain the glass brick windows. <laughs> but then after that, at some point, they decided they didn't Someone like them. Someone decided to cover it covered up. Covered it up. I don't know why you would. Interesting. And this is your uh, yeah. roof access, I guess. Just to let you know, this is where they would bring the gold and money in and out of. So if you look, there's also like iron up there for the sill. Yeah, well, or the header, or whatever that construction. I think it word even is. used to go up higher, and there were four of them at one point. One, two, three, four. And if you look, it looks like it used to go up even higher. Oh yeah. But again, that's where they used to bring it in and out. And this was the commercial front of the building. So this will be a nice backyard patio. But just to show you. That is the Chinese temple. Just an easy stone throw away. Right there is Front Street, the old Front Street. Right there. Wow. That this looks one. very brothel-y to me. For that was some the reason. brothel. That was the Davis Hotel. That was the brothel. That's the right. one. That it looks like it. Yeah. In, in fact, in your stream uh, on that recent video you did, there was a trolley that came right to the, the, up to there. Like the D Street trolley that came uh, it, it, it appears it, come, it hugs that levee and comes in right next to the uh, Buckeye Temple. Yeah. Amazing. Wow. I wondered what that was while well, there was a street right there. It was. There was a front street. And the levee wasn't there. That was that was literally the river right there where the levee is. Now the river's way further over. Interesting. But it's changed dramatically. But it was also used to be deep enough to bring up paddle boats. Right. Steam power paddle boats. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Like I said, this was the commercial front, and then that was front street, and there was the river. So these right here might be some original bricks, then. Yeah, I'm sure those are the original 
They kind of feel like it, and you can still see the hardware for the yeah, iron that's doors. Definitely original. And they probably had some little awnings There's more iron up there. coming off of there. Or maybe just big shutter doors. Probably big shutter doors. Very cool. So this is your dream here, is the... That's my dream. Oh, yeah. That was how it looked as the gold assay office. And you see the see the windows went floor to ceiling. But but yeah. all the business happened on the back end. Well, commercial business. Commercial. This side, uh, this is First Street. That's not the, yeah. This is where the townspeople would come. That was Front Street fronting the river. All the townspeople didn't really go to the river. The gold miners did and people coming in on boats did. This, look, there's the balcony. And you can see the original archways are iron. Oh, wow. And that, we tell by the cars, is like somewhere, it looked like that between the 1900s to the 1940s. Right. That's what we estimate. Very cool. And look at how right. those things used to look on top. I wish I could uncover that, but I don't want to spend that kind of money. <laughs> but wouldn't that be cool? Look right. at that. The Mexican nightclub, and again, I have the photo Whoa. somewhere. But what was it called? Oh, I can't tell. I know. Darn it. If I can find the photo, I'll send wow, it to it you. Wow, it looks so different then. I know. Look at the, they stuccoed it over. <laughs> they still have those things there, but they're black. Wow. Um, but yeah, there's one entrance there, another entrance there. Look at the archways are covered over. Yeah, no archways in the front. No archways on top or bottom. That's what it looked like in the 50s to 80s at the Senator Hotel, but they, I can't find any photos of it. Yeah, that I can't period. either. I can't find anything. I know. It's after they remodeled it in the 80s. So this is the building. This is the what's the silver dollar next door. And this is the building as it was remodeled at one time. You can see it's covered with stucco. Whoa. And these things uh, that I showed you before, you know, the scroll work, they're all black there. That's the way they were when I found them, too. Probably like mold or something. Yeah, mold and lack of care. But you can see here, that it was, it was originally a patio that went all the way across. Here someone changed it to just some short little patio. It had this little, I don't know, awning or something coming out the front. But look, they covered up all of the ironwork and stuff like that. So I think in the 70s is when it changed over to, this is when it was a, a, a Mexican nightclub. Wow. In the 70s, and was they that a Mexican over. nightclub that too, was a, the Silver Dollar? Yeah, it was a Mexican wow. uh, restaurant. And then I, I think this is a park now, isn't it? Or an outdoor no, eating area? This is a patio, yeah. Right, but that used to be a building there? Well, that's sort of like more like garages. Yeah. Gotcha. Now this is the story of the remodel that you asked about in the 1980s. And that's when they tore off all the stucco, brought the archways back here, brought the archways back here. Wow. They put in faux brick around it. I had other shots of the, um, of the, uh, a couple this other uses, but. Now these are what the offices used to look like. They were nice offices. Right, it looks nice. Yeah, it's a nice looking place. <laughs> Anyway, you can see the offices were nice, so it was a nice place. Yeah, they just hid all the history. Well, yeah, someone hid it. See, that's nice offices, and other people were trying to use it as it was built, but I came in and saw something much different. Right. I, I can't wait. I looked at the, <laughs> the structural soundness of it. I brought in an engineer. I looked behind the walls, because there were some places that you could look behind the walls. That's when I saw the archways, wow. and I went, what the? Why would you cover those up? Yeah, they're beautiful. And when I saw the other things there, now that's after I took the stuff out. Yeah, I, th I like it better like that. <clears throat> I do too, because it tells you more. Okay, that again is after I took started taking the stuff out. So what's that opening there we saw? Well, that is one of the places that I found the archways because the ceiling to all the offices was right across here. Hmm. That was the ceiling. This was an attic space that wasn't being used. Right. And so, and you really had no access to this unless you went through here, and you went through there through another access, and people would go, okay, why would I go from one dirty at part of the attic to another? <laughs> but I did. <laughs> so I went through there with all the cobwebs and rat droppings and everything else, and, you know, a teeny little phone flashlight. And then that's when I saw, because again, the ceiling went here, that's when I saw that. You're a brave man. And I went, oh, what is that? <laughs> and then I saw the other one. Yeah, pretty great.